guys, Venom101 here. Now today I'm going to be going a bit off topic and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on 3DS Max. Now in this one I will be showing you how to create an object, going into another object and smashing that object such as like you know like a bowling alley etc. The first thing you want to going to do is open up 3DS Max. Now in this one I'm using 2013 3DS Max. So once you've got it all open, you've got your perspective, realistic view, you're going to press Alt W and bring it up to a big view. The first thing I'm going to want to do is click box and just create a basic, basic ground for where it will be based on. So we've got that set. Now we're going to want to create something that it's going to smash into, so we're going to create another box. That'll do. And we're going to put that right at the end of this box here. Now to set up that object, in order for it to smash up, we're going to drag this bar over to the right, and right click at the top, and select Mass Effects Toolbar. Now this should bring up another box, Mass Effects Toolbar. I'm going to drag that up there and knock that out of the way. Now you're going to want to hold down over this icon and select as dynamic rigid body. Once that's set, we're going to change the preset of it and we're going to set it to cardboard. Also, we're going to start it in sleep mode by selecting this box, otherwise when the scene starts it will just fall through the other box that we've got previously. So once you've got one created, we're going to either clone it, click clone, or you can also press Control c and Control v and make sure we are doing it as an instance because that way it will keep all the properties rather than just copying the image of it so clone again make sure it is an instance now I've got four so I'm going to select all them by control clicking clone them again as an instance and just put them on top of there clone again put them there now as I'm saying obviously you can have it as different objects, this is just a basic one using boxes. Now we're going to create a sphere. This is going to be act as our as our object that's going to smash into those. I'm going to click move this. I'm going to place this at the end here. Now we're going to select this. And the same way as the boxes, this way it's going to be different though. We're going to set this also as a dynamic rigid body. But we're going to set the preset of this as steel. You don't want this to start in sleep mode as it will just be going straight away as soon as the scene starts. So once you've got those two set, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to select advanced. Now we're going to go down to initial motion. You've got initial spin and initial velocity. We're going to be using initial velocity for this one. So we want the ball to go in the Y axis towards the boxes. Now for this we can either, using 3ds Max 13, we can click on the plus and we can change the initial velocity by using this. Now the yellow arrow is where the ball will go, the sphere will go. In case it's 2012 or lower, I think it's 2011 actually we can change it in the initial motion bit down here now like I said we want to go in the Y axis so obviously we can change all these to zero apart from the Y axis and we can put about 300 down for this one now you can play around with this and the speed is also going to have to be 300 now that's going to make it go in the Y axis now once you've got all this done that's pretty much it I'm going to go ahead and we're going to click play And that is your basic one object smashing into another. I mean, you can do this with either bowling balls, like a bowling ball going into pins, etc. It's just something to play around with, really. I mean, it's just a basic tutorial of how to do this. I mean, if you didn't get any of it, just rewind the video and go back to where you've lost. You can always pause it. And that's about it, really. I will try and bring out more. I'll try and bring out more videos of 3ds Max if you want them. Just comment. Say if you want any more videos, because I can post quite a lot more tutorials on how to do things in 3ds Max. Now I got my 3ds Max from the actual Autodesk website, but mine's a student copy. 
Now, if you're in the United Kingdom and you are a student studying, you can actually get, well, in gaming design anyway, which I am, you can actually get a free copy of this by putting in your student number, etc. Other than that, I think you will be able to get a trial from them. You can always try that out. And if, obviously, if you have got enough money, you'll be able to buy it. But it's just a basic idea. I mean, you can always play more with this. You can create like a full bowling alley, etc. You know. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Please try and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you want more in the future. I mean, obviously, I'm doing gaming reviews, gaming guides, and now I'm trying to bring tutorials away from gaming and more things for you. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.